Hey guys, welcome back to All Season Outdoors. Uh, it's midweek here. We're uh, downstairs in my dungeon, better known as my workshop. And uh, a couple days ago, my brother Mike, he picked up a Glock 22 40 caliber for a song. So being how we are, we kind of got to thinking, uh, what can we do fun with this? So with our state regs, we're allowed to use a 40 S and W for deer hunting. So we're going to make this gun and we're going to turn it into a deer gun. Uh, we're going to go through, we got an upgraded trigger for it. Uh, we're going to put a Vortex Viper, or Venom, uh, red dot on it. And uh, going to try to get this thing to where we can shoot 25, 30 yards with it, you know, on consistent. Uh, after doing some research, uh, really ain't found anybody trying to do this yet uh, with a 40 cal. So we're going to kind of walk you through, do a video on the build of the gun. Then we're going to go to the range, see how it does. Uh, stay with us guys. I think it's gonna be a very cool ideal uh, It may work. It may not if it doesn't shoot like we want it to We'll start changing barrels and stuff like that uh, You know, we like to kind of you do things that are kind of different than everybody else. You know, we did our grand old builds So we are going to start building this gun. I'm gonna walk you through it uh, show you everything we did get it to the range uh, see how it performs and hopefully here in a couple of weeks when deer season opens up for uh, firearm season take this thing out and hopefully get something close enough that maybe we can get a kill with a uh, personal defense handgun so stay with us guys thanks for watching let's get to the build all right guys welcome back now we're on the bench here and we've got just basically a Glock 22 Gen 4 40 caliber and uh, do a safety check it's clear mags out of it uh, what we're going to end up doing is taking this gun apart we've got a complete uh, ghost spring kit we've got the ghost uh, three pound uh, uh, trigger part we've got basically a JP uh, Enterprises dovetail mount for Venom Red Dot so let's start getting this thing broke down and start going through it it may take us a bit this is the first handgun build i've ever really got into doing so let's get this gun broken apart you got a safety check gonna drop the slide set it aside pull the barrel spring out pull the barrel out then we're gonna come in here and start to uh disassemble this so first thing we got to do is get the back plate off of it so depress that and get it down enough that we can slide the back plate off of it which there it just popped out and that allow us to take the firing pin out the plunger out and there's the back piece now we need to get the extractor and the spring out so we depress the the safety button that will allow us to pull the extractor out get this thing to pop out Well, that make this look easier on videos, guys. Let me tell you, you need a little more than one hand. So, we got the extractor out. And that allow the safety plunger to come out. And the first spring that we got to change comes with it. So, we got this little bitty spring here, and our kit comes with one. And that is the first thing that we end up changing out of this kit. So we've got a little bitty bag of parts here. We've got two springs in there. One's the trigger spring. One's for the safety plunger. And get these out here. And basically it pops off. Set it aside. Put your new one on. And then you can just basically set this aside until we go back to reassemble it. So we got that there. Next piece we're going to work with is the actual firing pin spring. And if you depress this, there's two little pieces of a cup that hold this spring down. 
and watching videos everybody says just put it back in the back of the slide and you should be able to to take it off now in the kit it does come with two different springs and get them apart here one is a four pound six pound spring for duty carry then another one is a shorter spring that is for the lighter trigger we want a lighter trigger we feel you know with all our guns we like a nice crisp trigger so we're going to use the lighter of the two so you put it back onto there press down the spring on the firing pin be careful not to shoot that across the room i have done that a time or two and put one cup in come back grab the other Depair it, press that spring all the way down, and put this other cup in. And get this to go all the way down. Let's see here. See if I can't get keep that from sliding down a little bit. Yep. There we go. I think that's going to be a little easier for me. A lot easier if you have really small hands to work on really small parts. I, on the other hand, do not. I'm quite a bit bigger. And makes working on these little bitty parts a little tougher for a big guy. Alright, so looking at that, the spring is back contained in the cups. So we've got this piece done and everything looks centered, everything looks good. I believe we can start putting this thing back together. So first part that goes back in is your safety detent and it just slides in, spring goes in first. And that will allow us to depress this and put our extractor back in Oh, and just shut it out. There's the spring, and go back in there like so, push it back in. It's always nice to work, I use a covered workbench uh, with just carpet on there to keep parts from flying all over everywhere basically. And that goes back in there like so, and it's back in place, everything looks good. Your plunger comes next. And you want the metal to go in, metal on metal. And next in is, of course, your firing pin. And it should just slide right up in there. And if everything I have is going in correctly. There we go. Now I got her to go in there where she's supposed to go. And last, go ahead and slide your butt piece back in. Butt plate in and you will have to push in on there, move it in a little bit, and then move over to your plunger and drop it in a little bit. And you should be able to push that in till it clicks. So we are done with the slide. We can put that aside. Next up, I'm going to start tackling the handle. Alright guys, now we're going to move on to the uh, handle frame of the gun. And we've got actually just two pieces to change. Got a trigger spring and the connector. So the first thing that we got to do is we're going to pop out the pin in the back. And it pushes all the way through. Set it aside. Then we got two pins on the front of the gun. That we're going to push out as well. They just push out. 
set that one aside and then push the last one which is the bigger of the pins which <clears throat> slides completely out like so and this will free up the trigger and everything else your mag catch will come out set that aside then you can come in here and just pull up on the back and that will let all this out and the trigger you'll leave the block and everything in this is the piece apparently that we're going to start messing with and first thing you do is lift up on this and twist it out and that will allow the trigger spring to come out so we will disconnect this set that aside take this spring off and set the factory spring aside now we need to take this piece right here off this is what's being replaced with the kit and come in on the back side and just push in with your new piece and that will bring your old one out comes in looks like that so we're going to set that aside you come in put that into place just like so and it should snap right into place all right now we're going to replace with the new spring come in and connect there and come in and connect on the top side here back to your connector and that should all go in lift and twist back into place and should go together about like that all right guys now we got to put it back together we're going to slide our trigger in and start to slide slide back in our whole assembly here and that snaps right into place triggers going down so first thing we're going to do is replace this back spring and you may have to you make sure everything is seated back down in here tap this back in there we go and what you want to do is just make sure that it's even on each side with that back pin so we look good there next one we're going to put in is the top pin and it's just going to slide through that holds your block and everything and as the same thing you want to make sure that you got even spacing on either side you'll actually feel it snap in so the next piece that goes back in is your mag drop and it slides in and the spring actually holds it in on the top pin. So you move all this and you get everything to where you can look down and it's pretty lined up through and push this back through. And you'll feel it snap back into place so the visual spec everything looks pretty good on this so let's put our barrel back in our barrel spring get it set put the slide back on and we will give it a try stay with us all right guys we got the slide back on and uh we're going to do a little safety check on it uh as you can see you can depress the trigger without the safety and it doesn't go still have an unloaded weapon pull the trigger pull the trigger and operate it the reset works 
Uh, everything on the trigger job is done on here, and I must say, I mean, it's a quite a bit lighter trigger. Um, not necessarily as crisp as, say, my rifle with the Timony in it, but uh, it has made night and day difference in this trigger. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to drive out the rear sight out of the dovetail. Going to install our piece, mount our uh, base on there so we can mount our optics. So we are going to uh, start going on that, guys. All right, guys, now we're back here. We're going to go ahead and pull the slide off and disassemble it because all we're going to be working with now is the slide. So depress the trigger. Push down your two catches. Take your slide off. Pull the spring. Go ahead and pull the barrel. Now I've got my vise here lined with a uh, couple heavy pieces of cloth. And we're just going to slide just the slide in here. And then we're going to take our punch. And I've got a little neoprene brass hammer that come in my AR kit. And then we're just going to start to tap that rear dovetail out. This might take a little bit of force because from the factory it is locked tight it in. So we go ahead and we just slide that out. We've got our rear side out. We're going to come getting our kit. about the base it does come with all the hardware and the allen wrench has two little Phillips head screwdriver nuts that you need to take out to get the dovetail out and let me look through my tools here and we will get these and they just slowly screw out And that gives us just our dovetail. We can come in and we're going to slowly drive that in. So I'm using the neoprene side of the hammer. And go ahead and just get that nice and centered up in the center of your slide. It's held by the supplied screws and then the top piece sits on like that run your screws down on it Just like that, we're going to get our torque wrench, our fat boy, and we're going to torque these down. All right, guys, we got our base on. We're going to go ahead and we are shooting a Vortex Venom 3mm red dot. And uh, this year we started shooting Vortex on our Grendels. And let me tell you guys, the products are unbelievable. Uh, warranty unbelievable uh, a lot of people talk that you know vortex is a little expensive but the warranty that they offer no questions asked lifetime warranty uh, the quality we have found to be unbelievable now when it, you get these site it does come with a picatinny base being that we are mounting them on a different base on the slide you need to go ahead and take the two screws out that hold the picatinny mount on so they just pop out with the supplied hardware. You know, Vortex does send you with all the hardware and everything. And they come out, and now this little sight mounts and sits right on top of the slide. Now, this base, it does have the knockouts and the studs, so it will self-align, go on, no problem. So then we're going to come back on here, use a touch of a little thread sealer, keeps everything from moving. Drop them down on there, 
and it does come with a su supplied wrench and get them started and we may have to use the yep we have to use the hardware that comes with the mount so we're gonna look at this it comes with different size screws so that one there will work for uh, what our application is it does come with hardware and everything with it as well so we're gonna put a little thread sealer on it run it down in there give it a few turns Go ahead and grab the next one, put a little thread sealer on it, set it down in there. Snug them up. Now we have the Vortex Venom mounted to the slide. Everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and put our barrel back in the gun. Our barrel spring. Everything looks good lined up. Go ahead and reassemble. And there you have it guys. We have went through and changed the tree or the springs in the slide. Put a better uh, connector, springs in there, made a much better trigger. Mounted a top slide plate, Vortex Venom. Everything in this thing looks wonderful. Uh, we're going to uh, wrap this video up and head to the range with it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some testing on it. We're going to try to get this to shoot about 20 to 25 yards and uh, if we can get a deer inside that I believe we're going to be using double tap uh, DT 200 grain controlled expansion uh, bullets 40 S and W in this build so we're going to uh, next get it to the range and see how she performs alright guys here's our finished product uh, we went through, did a trigger job on it, mounted a red dot optic on it. Uh, it is a good looking optic. It's, it's low profile. Uh, I do believe we'll still be able to use this in a uh, carry holster. The one we went with is a Serpa chest holster. So when we're uh, hunting with it, I'm probably going to have to modify it a little bit to uh, clear the optic. Uh, but uh, everything's looking good. This ought to be a sweet shooting gun, guys. Uh, it's something different. We kind of looked around on the internet and we could not find any kind of build that people are doing with Glocks to actually build a deer gun with it. So uh, this may work. It may not, guys. I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave us comments. Uh, let us know what you think. If you're looking at building a uh, handgun, uh, I shoot a Smith & Wesson Sigma series. I'm probably going to look at doing a trigger job on it i'm going to put a vortex on it uh link to all these products we're going to put down below um guys thank you for watching if you like what you want hit the smash button subscribe tell your friends about us uh you know we kind of do a little bit of stuff off the wall you know we start doing some grindle builds and uh we've raced them guns out to a thousand yards already uh we do prs shoots uh any kind of hunting that's in season uh we're going to start doing some pistol stuff. So, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. we got more to come. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Welcome back to All Season Outdoors, folks. We are uh, the day before gun season and, and firearm season in southern Indiana. Um, we're at the range. It's about 8 o'clock. We're trying to finish up the Glock to go deer hunting with a 40 Smith & Wesson handgun tomorrow. 
never hunted with a handgun like we'd said earlier we got hung up we put a vortex venom red dot on it and if you do that it's pretty cool i'm going to suggest you buy the one degree shim um, to bring it down i didn't have near enough height adjustment up i cranked it all the way up and i was still a foot low at 25 yards we got the shim in it we're out here we got her zeroed in I mean, I am not a handgun guy, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope that uh, you can see that in the dark, and I hope you don't make too much fun of me because that's as good as I can do at 25 yards. But we will be deer hunting with a Glock tomorrow. So hopefully, um, if all goes well, we'll have a video soon with uh, putting a deer down with a 40 Smith & Wesson Glock. Um, got a vortex venom red dot got the vortex shim we're using double tap 200 grain controlled expansion hollow points uh, still got the stock glock barrel in it right now i'm not inclined to change it i looked really long and hard at alpha wolf stuff and i'm not saying that's not a thing in the future but we're gonna deer hunt with this thing tomorrow so uh Everyone check our video out. I hope you like it. Uh, hit the like subscribe button um, Follow us. We're uh, trying to gain a little traction with this channel And if you guys got any ideas or anything you want to see from all season outdoors, please put it in the comment section uh, we We'll be putting together whatever you guys want to see. Thanks Come back and see us